Hi! In this tutorial, you will learn about the foreign key support that WP Data Tables has. So, what does foreign key mean? Let's start with the basics. A standard approach in relational databases is to keep repeating information in a separate table. This happens so you do not store it in the same one. Let's look at a practical example. You have a table called Work Orders with four columns, Work Order ID, Work Order Name, Date, and Employee. If each work order has an employee assigned, it is better not to store repeating information with the same employee name in every line. Instead, you should have one more table called Employees. Now, you can reference it from the Work Orders table. Let's see how this thing works. You must first create a table called Employees. Use the Create a Table Manually option. Then, add two columns. Name, which should be a string, and birth date, which should be a date, of course. You can have even more columns, but for this example, we'll only use the two. After creating the table, open it in the editor and add several employees. Now, let's create the Work Orders table by selecting Create a Table Manually. Use three columns here. Work Order Name, which should be a string. Work Order Date, which should be a date. And Employee, which is an integer. It will be our foreign key or a reference to an external employee's table. Then, create the table and open it in a standard editor. After creating the table, Let's create a work order and add one in the employee field. You should now configure your foreign key or reference. To do that, go to the employee column settings, select the data tab and set the type to string. After that, in the possible values for this column dropdown, Choose User Values from another WP data table. Now, click on the Configured Relation button. In this pop-up, choose Employees as a source WP data table. Select the name as displayed value and leave WDT ID for the store value. Click Save in the model and apply in the Column Settings panel. Now you can look at the tables and see that the employee name is shown in the table instead of the number. You can also adjust the filter and the input for the editor to use the foreign table instead of working as an integer input. Open the column settings for the employee column. Go to the filtering tab and change the filter type to select box. After that, go to the editing tab and change the editor input type to one value select box. After doing this, you will see the values from the remote table in a dropdown whenever you want to edit or filter the table. While this example is a simple one, please note that you can work with something that is far more complex. You can make one table have multiple references for different columns. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Subscribe to our channel to see other neat and informative tutorials.